This is Red Light, Green Light, One, Two, Three with D and Z. Here are your hosts, D and Z. If you want to get on the action, we want to hear from you. Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com. Slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast. Drop us a DM on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Comment on our YouTube channel, The Fade Route with DNZ. Questions, comments, picks, segment suggestions, you name it, we want to hear from you. Get at us, in crowd. Welcome to this week's episode of Red Light, Green Light, one, two, three, with D and Z, I and Z, and here's how it goes. D and I give you our top one, two, three fantasy six, or red lights, and our top one, two, three fantasy starts, or green lights. We're going to start with our green lights first. Who are your fantasy starts this week, D? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go with Derrick Henry against the Titans. No Tannehill. I mean, (laughs) Derrick Henry against the Texans. (laughs) No Tannehill. Um, I expect Henry to throw the ball, run the ball, just be all their offense. Uh, Josh Jacobs against the Stellars. I mean, he's just been the number one fantasy back all year. Crazy, because he's probably like a fifth-round steal. And last, I like the Dolphins against the Packers. The Dolphins are coming off three losses on the road. they got to win this game. Yeah, the Dolphins need to right the ship because... It's kind of springing some leaks. It's springing some leaks. Start number one for me, I'm going to go with Jamal Williams. It's kind of hard to go wrong with the league leader in rushing touchdowns, right? And the Carolina Panthers, no great shakes. So Jamal Williams, you're going to get a start from me. Number two, I'm going to go with Jamar Chase. Yeah, all safe bet, Jamar Chase against the Patriots. They're cooking right now. The Bengals are cooking. Burrow is cooking. And Jamar Chase is his favorite target. They're going to light up this sorry-ass Patriots team. I can't believe I'm using the term sorry-ass in reference to the New England Patriots. But here I am. And I'm going to go with the Dallas defense against the Eagles. I think they're going to get after Minshew. I think Minshew's going to make mistakes. And I think the Cowboys are going to take this one. So we'll see how that goes. Those are our green lights. Who are your red lights, Dave? I'm actually going to sit Justin Herbert against the Colts. Justin Herbert's just having like a okay season. He only had like eight points last week. And if you're needing him in your fantasy playoffs or your fan pool, I'd stay away from him. Next is Zay Jones against the Jets. I mean, Zay had a monster game last week, but the Jets play better defense than the Dallas Cowboys. And last, but certainly least, is Alvin Kamara. You alluded to it on the show earlier this week. Only one touchdown this year. Oh, my God, it's awful. <laughs> one, oh, touchdown, one, one touchdown this year. Um, he's probably like a second-round pick for a lot of people, but... Um, He's going against the Broncos. The Broncos play defense. I'd stay away from him. I I can't believe it with Alvin Kamara. Like I really, like it, it's amazing to me that that that's happening. You know, like Alvin Kamara, the drop has been really bad under this under Dennis Allen compared to Sean Payton. So, you know, that's something that we need to monitor. Um, as far as red lights for me, Justin Fields against the Bills. Like, that just seems like a complete and utter mismatch. Not just from the secondary standpoint, not just from the offensive standpoint, but they're going to get after the quarterback. The Bills can get after the quarterback with Oliver, Rousseau, Milano, lit up Mike White, like, Mike White has fractured ribs thanks to Matt Milano. Justin Fields is going to have a long, long day. I'm sitting Kenneth Walker III. I really don't 
think he's going to do that well against the Chiefs rush defense. Who's, they're sneaky good. They're sneaky good. And usually that's not a, a highlight of the Chiefs, right? We like to tell them home. Then we like to talk about Kelsey. And Chiefs D is solid. And I think they're going to stifle Kenneth Walker. And last but not least, you got to sit any Steeler quarterback. You have to sit any Steeler quarterback. I don't trust, trust Mitchell Trubisky. This is a game that he'll crap the bed. <laughs> this is the game where he will shit himself on, t- on live television. And Kenny Pickett coming back from a concussion. So how can you reasonably start either one of those guys? And if you're playing this weekend, chances are you're not doing it because of Mitchell Trubisky or Kenny Pickett. So sit them. Sit them. Do not mess around. Those are ours. What are yours? Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com or slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast or drop us a line on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. But it's time for us to run the go right again. We'll talk to you next week. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.